What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rashid. And I just want to talk about something, um, something that Mr. Junior Alpha and I did and something that we're going to be doing on a regular basis. And I'm going to talk about why I'm talking about it. Um, you see what we have here? There's sweaters, like hoodies, Alpha Academy hoodies. Okay. Um, some water. Uh, yesterday it was two boxes and another case of water. Uh, basically what we did, come over here, what we did was uh, <clears throat> we went, you know, you had, a, you had a good Christmas, right? Yeah. You know, I had a good Christmas. You know, my kids hooked me up some cool stuff. Uh, but, you know, we wanted to go, it was cold out, to make sure as many people as possible had a good Christmas. So tell them what we did. Uh, we went to Greyhound where um, homeless people would go for warmth. Um, and we gave uh, them sweaters and water. And food, some yes. bomb jack-in-the-box tacos. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we went by a homeless shelter. Uh, like he said, we went by Greyhound. We just drove all around uh, areas that are pretty destitute, places where, you know, like Greyhound, at night, homeless people go in there because it's warm. Um, and, you know, we would go up to people and ask them, you know, are you hungry? They say, they all say yes, right? Yeah. And uh, we hook them up with some tacos if they were cold. Uh, one girl was like, you know, she was out on the street. It was in an area where there's a lot of drugs and prostitution. And you guys might be like, oh, you take your kid around that. Yeah, because he has to see the real world. You know, we live in a nice house, nice area, but not everybody is as fortunate. And I don't want him to be shocked at what's out there. You know, so yeah, he came with me out to, to a bad area. And, you know, when you have, you know, I don't have, a, I don't carry around a spirit of fear at all. It doesn't exist with me. And he sees that, you know, so he was safe, you know. Um, so we go out, I went out and I, and I talked to people, you know. See, it's like, it's no knock to, to churches or anything like that, you know, where everybody come for salvation or, for wisdom or guidance, but you know, oftentimes, and I, I thought about this when I was younger, the church should be out in the streets. It should be where the prostitutes are. It should be where uh, drug dealers are. You know, people who don't 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 think they need help, or people who don't realize they need help. You know, um, or people who may want help but just they feel embarrassed to go. You know, they might not have a nice outfit to wear on Sunday or whatever, you know, so, or they just feel like they're too dirty to go around a church, you know what I'm saying, and my, so it's like, you know what, we go to the streets, you know, and my little man does it with me, you know, um, people out here need help, you know, and you could say, oh, why are you talking about it, you should do it in silence, you know what, why does that matter, I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why I'm talking about it. Because all my all my homies out there, Rob Bailey, Dana Lynn Bailey, my pop C.T. Fletcher, Big Rob, Mark Bell, Mark Lobliner, Sean Torbati, uh, uh, Bart Kwan, um, Silent Mike, man, Cali Muscle. I'm calling all everybody. You know, I can't think of everybody's name right off the top of my head, but it's a call to action, y'all. <clears throat> we have a lot of influence. If we put a video up, a lot of people see it. So if I put a video up helping people, of us helping people out in the streets, somebody else may feel inclined to do so. Cause we, we all are very fortunate. You know, we don't have nothing to, the, what we seen last night is no reason for us to be complaining. So we, I'm, it's a call to action for all my people. Like everybody named are good people. Michael Hearn, uh, Stan Efferding, Flex Wheeler, Dexter Jackson, uh, Phil Heath. These are all good people. These are people that I've become friends with and they're really good people. So I know everybody do things in their own way to help, you know? So I'm just, it's just a reminder, reminding myself, it's keeping me, like I dedicated to do this. Now, one thing that I, I would normally do is go through e my emails and help people through there. And I'm talking about <laughs> like helping people pay car notes, rent, you know, really stories that really touch me, hospital bills or whatever. But this, but that stuff is expensive. Me, you know, buying a bunch of food, getting a bunch of waters, 
taking, you know, an overflow of clothing that I already have and giving to people in need is a lot more economic for me. Um, it doesn't hurt my pockets as much as, you know, the email stuff. So, you know, I'm dedicating myself to do it on a regular basis now. You know, my, my little man will be with me. And, uh, you know, I ain't trying to save the world or be no, you know, whatever, but it's just my little thing that I can do. You know what I mean? The little bit that I could do, I'm gonna do it. So, um, so call to action to all my homies out there, fitness, fitness people, business people, YouTubers, everybody, man. Let's, let's help people, you know? We have the means to do it. We have the resources to do it. And I'm doing a video about it. I'm talking about it. I don't want no, I don't want no glory for it. I don't want credit for it. Cause it don't matter if I get it or not. What matters is they get fed. What matters is they get warm clothes. So who cares if I talk about it or not? I'm talking about it so we can all be aware and we all hold each other accountable and let's get out there and fucking help people, all right? All right. And we're not, nobody's obligated to do anything. You know, honestly, all you're obligated to do is take care of yourself and your family. But you know, if you have it in you, let's go help, let's go take care of these people on the streets. All right? All right, y'all. Much love.